guys, so today I wanted to do a video on winter fashion and kind of break down for you guys what coats to buy for different body shapes. So I know that I've done like body shape series videos before and kind of given you more of a general idea of what clothing styles suit what body types, but I just wanted to focus on coats for today because obviously coats are an important staple for your winter wardrobe. So the first coat that I'm going to show you is my trench coat, which looks like this. It cinches at the waist with a belt and it's got double breasted buttons and it's really, really classic and just a timeless piece for your wardrobe. And the body shapes that I think look best in this style of coat are the hourglass, which is my body shape and the fuller figure. So if you have like a bigger bust, bigger hips and a smaller waist, this style of coat will look really, really good on you. And I think mostly the reason why is that generally the curvier you are, the better classic and very timeless pieces will look on you. I just think that as a general rule anyway. And I think the reason for this is that a lot of these classic pieces tend to cinch at the waist and they tend to really enhance like a woman's body and a woman's curves. So I definitely recommend this style. It's got like an A-line type style here at the skirt part, at the bottom part. So it really flatters your hips and your legs. And then obviously it highlights how tiny your waist is. The only thing I will say is that if you have a really big bust and you know, you're not really, you don't want to enhance it too much. Double breasted buttons are generally a no-no for that. But the one solution I have is, number one, buy the coat in a size bigger than you actually are. I do that a lot because I'm kind of smaller in other places than I am at my bust. So I have to do that for coats, definitely, if they're double breasted. Or number two is to open the top button, leave that open, and then maybe put a scarf up here to kind of decorate the neckline a little bit. I definitely think that makes you look a lot less top heavy and it's a lot better for your shape. Okay, so the second coat is this double breasted button again, shorter one, with three quarter length sleeves, they're kind of like bell sleeves, and it's in a light, very light gray. And it looks like this. It doesn't go very well with what I'm wearing today, but just to ignore that. But the body shape that I think this looks best on is the pear shape. And that is because number one of the color, the color is bright. So always remember if you're a pear shape to keep a certain amount of balance and proportion in your body. You wanna keep the lighter color on top and the darker color below. And also, it's pretty statement. It's a pretty bold piece with the big double breasted buttons here. It's going to add volume and the sleeves also. It's going to add volume to your upper body and bring the attention away from your lower body. So this is definitely something that I would recommend for pear shapes. That basically means that you're smaller on top than you are on bottom. It's going to really flatter your shape and it's got shoulder pads as well. So it's going to make your frame just appear a lot more balanced. So the third coat I'm gonna show you is from Zara and looks like this. It's got shoulder pads, it's black, and it's kind of got like rushing here at the sides, at the waist, and then it flares out. So it gives you a bit of volume here at the hips. And it's kind of like military style with these gold buttons. And the body shape that would suit this coat best would be the boyish shape, in my opinion, because it's got a high neck, and high necks are going to give you the illusion of a bigger bust, and then it really nips in here with the rushing, and flares out to give you the illusion of some hips. So if you are a boyish or like a really skinny <laughs> shape, then I definitely recommend a coat like this just to give you more curves and more volume. And I think it looks really, really cute as well. Very girly and very feminine. So the last coat I'm gonna show you is what's called a pea coat. It looks like this. And as you can tell, it's kind of got a tulip shape. So it really volumizes the lower body as opposed to the upper body. 
And the two body shapes that I think this definitely flatters the best are the apple shape, so if you gain weight in your midsection or your bust, and the athletic shape, so if you are quite broad shoulders, you have quite broad shoulders. So the reason for this is that it doesn't have a big exaggerated collar, it's like a very rounded one. And there's no shoulder pads, so it's very, very small on top. So it really draws the attention away from, you know, your bust and your shoulders. And then it's got this tulip kind of shape. So where you're slimmer in your lower body, it's going to balance it out because it's going to bring more volume there and less up here. So you're going to look a lot more streamlined, a lot slimmer and a lot straighter as a shape. And also it's got single breasted buttons. So if you have a bigger bust, whatever shape you are, this could be a good coat option for you. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's all the body shapes. And I just wanted to kind of finish up by showing you the coat that I've styled with the outfit that I'm wearing today. And this particular coat is from H&M and it's a cropped leather, fake leather jacket. And it looks like this. I think it's really cute, it's got a, a side zip and it's got kind of raised shoulders, like puffed shoulders and this would actually be perfect on like the boyish or the pear shape as well but if you are an hourglass like me you can always unzip the top and go like this so that you're not really restricting yourself up here. but. I like it either open or closed. I think it looks cute either way. And this looks really, really good with this skirt from Zara. It's a high-waisted wool skirt with big pockets and it's stripy and I love it. And then I'm wearing a simple gray v-neck from Zara underneath and these amazing disc earrings. And this bracelet, which I think is really cute. And these pumps, grey kind of wool pumps that are also from Zara. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful for you guys and I hope you'll check out my next one. Bye guys.